In this model, let us take a typical question where we have to find out the difference between simple interest and compound interest but the rates of interest for each one of them are different. Let us look at the question. What is the difference between compound interest and simple interest for the sum of rupees 20,000 over a two year period if the compound interest is calculated at 20% per annum and the simple interest is calculated at 23% per annum. So as you can see here, the principal amount is 20,000 rupees and the time period is 2 years. And we have to find out the difference between compound interest and simple interest. But the point here is compound interest is calculated at 20% per annum and simple interest is calculated at 23% per annum. That means the rate of compound interest and the rate of simple interest are different from each other. Now to solve this question, we cannot use the formula that we have discussed for difference between SI and CI. Why? Because those formulae that we have discussed in one of the earlier models are applicable only when the rate of interest is same for both CI as well as SI. As the rates of interest here are different, we need to calculate both CI and SI separately and then find out the required answer. But then doing the calculation is not a very lengthy procedure. Going by the smart way of solving the problem, we know that if the rate of simple interest is equal to 23% and the time is 2 years, then the total simple interest that we get would be 23% plus 23%. That is nothing but 46%. And as given in the question, the rate of compound interest is 20% per annum and the time period is 2 years. So again, going by the concept of percentages, we can say that the total compound interest would be A plus B plus AB by 100 percent where A is nothing but 20 and B also is 20. So it will be equal to 20 plus 20 plus 20 into 20 by 100 in terms of percentage. So 20 plus 20 is 40 and this is equal to 4. 40 plus 4 is 44 percent. So as you can see here the total simple interest that is generated is 46 percent and the total compound interest is 44 percent and we are supposed to find out the difference between these two. So we can say that the difference here that is SI minus CI would be equal to 46 percent minus 44 percent that is equal to 2 percent and this 2 percent has to be calculated. We know that principal is 20,000 that means 100 percent is equivalent to 20,000. So if 100 percent is 20,000, 2 percent will be how much? We know that 1% of 20,000 is 200 rupees. So 2% would be 400 rupees. So the answer for this question would be 400 which can be obtained by cross multiplication. So this is how we can simply find out the effective compound interest percentage and the total simple interest percentage and take the difference between these two to get the required answer.